It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's so much better than just watching okay, the... Yeah. Uh, oh, you can't get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> What do we got? This is the Google Daydream View VR headset. It's daydream ready, so you need a daydream ready phone. But we're gonna try it out on not daydream ready phones because not of us own a Pixel. On YouTube, there are VR videos, right? So this is a skydiving video. If I like just, cross my eyes, I can sort of experience almost VR. You just have to select playback for Google Cardboard and then you can incorporate it into this. The Pixel has its own app that works really well with the Daydream. But if you don't have that, you can still use this. Pretty much any phone that's running a Google VR video, you strap it in. This is the hand washable face pad. Face pad. I think it's scented with lavender. This looks like one of those plague masks. <laughs> Let's do the clips first. So we can play with the lenses. One, two, three. Okay, that was easy. Check out these dope lenses. It's Fresnel on one side. So flat, right flat on the front, and then completely Fresnel. I think if you did double Fresnel, you would be able to see it too well. Nice. Ooh, it's spring-loaded. Wow. Oh. oh, so that way if you have a fat phone, it can be like, wow. Whoa. That is such a nice little mechanism. Look at this guy. Springy, springy. Okay, cool. So we did get one more layer here. These are double adhesive backed metal pads. This is a crimp connecting to a uh, coated wire. Um, and that wire lays in a track around here. And we think this is how they're doing their gestural capacity uh, on the left and right. We have the remote. The remote we haven't been able to test on camera, but when you have the Google Pixel, it connects, we think, over Bluetooth. It has an accelerometer. It has a sort of a clicky button here. Um, it's rechargeable mm -hmm. via USB. A little lanyard slot here. Oh, that's what that is. You yeah. know, wing it across the room. Let's tear it apart. Okay, so this is right here, is an ultrasonic weld or a glue line, glues to this rib or welds to this rib. We've got weld mark points here. These are heat staked. These are the buttons. They're mm. on these like little wiggle plastic springs. Wiggle springs. How does the whole top button rock? It's just like it's a cantilever, right? So it's okay. glued here. And then it just does that. Huh. Just flexes. Just flexes. And it presses against this button. Yes. So this rocks down and then it makes contact like that. There's like two circuit boards. One is mounted to the top, which is the capacitive swipe mm -hmm. sensor, probably. Mm -hmm. And then the lower one, which is the main. Yes. Ooh. That's crystal clear. IQS525. Proxense. Proxense. That sounds like a capacitor sensor. There we go. IQS525. There we go. Oh, look, look it's even got like a neat little dev board. Ooh. Very cool. Holy, holy shit, it's almost identical. They just like. They copied look, it. Even the, right down to the. The connector. The connector. Is, yeah, that's super funny. That's so cool. So they were just like, all right, let's take the. I mean. Let's be honest, we do this here a lot, right? What we take we a reference design and we make it fit. I think what's fun about electronics is that you do, if you just follow the instructions, you, you kind of get it to work. Yeah. <laughs> How do these work? It looks like where you have a, a positive and negative. So each sensor consists of a, of a 
of a transmit conductor and a receive conductor that are in close proximity. So I know you're here because I can see these are all lit up. I know you're here because these are all, like I'm receiving the signal from all of these. And so basically my finger is bridging a red or a green at every moment. And then if you can also measure the signal strength, then I can actually tell as I'm moving around. And that's how you get really highly precise shit like this thing. Right. Which may be explained here. <laughs> In this glowy <laughs> diagram. So you have sort of Final thoughts on the on the Google VR. Uh, compliments. Let's start with compliments. compliments. The mechanically beautifully designed. It came apart. It went together. For me, as someone who likes to do teardowns, that's that's a real uh, treat. And as 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 a designer of things, um, it's what we strive for. It's like stuff that assembles nicely. It's it's better for the environment in the end because you can take stuff apart and recycle things. It's nice to the people who have to assemble it. Right. Like there's so much which is like. Oh, it's just in China. They'll just glue it together and blah blah blah. Like, this it should be a treat to put something together. I think the product philosophy is nice, right? You use the sort of expensive device that you own already. That goes in. This, it's, it's funny because it, it feels like an electronic thing, but there's really there's no electronic bits in here, right. with the exception of the capacitive uh, pads we found. I could imagine watching little short films on this. Yeah. Right. I can see that. Not for long durations of 30 minutes or hours, but for a couple minutes, I think it's, it's, a, fun, it's a fun thing to experience. So at, at $99, it is pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. The one aspect of it that is a little limiting is it's mainly designed for consumption. In right. the sense that, you know, once this thing is on and I'm strapped in, well, uh, you know, I'm, I can't move. In fact, I can't see where I'm going. So it's only about watching videos or sort of swiping at fruit and slicing it. Here's a question. Yes. I like this remote a lot. Um, it would be fun if they made it so you could use, I'd like this remote to be more universal. Like it'd be cool if it worked with a Chromecast. Yeah, why not? I, um, I like the more advanced systems like the, the Vive with like Tilt Brush. Uh, like Tilt Brush was like the first time I was like, oh, VR could be used to make something. Drawing. Drawing, okay. like in 3D, and you do this. Right. Um, but you need to make sure that you have an open space while you're doing all of that, around. right? Yeah. And so, like, this, they make you sit down, and you're supposed to... It's very appy. It's very, like, small experience. Uh -huh. um, I don't know how to make the experience bigger, safer. Um, maybe, like, we could just make a giant donut. Um, <laughs> I like the idea of, like, a treadmill that, like, wherever you walk, right? keeps you in one place. <laughs> you know, or if you have augmented reality, right, where I guess at this point the phone would be using its front-facing camera and then layering other video content on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, so you can slice fruit in the room. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that could be, that could be cool. something. I got a brand new cool, uh. I got a brand new ride, yeah. I got a brand new ball, uh, with my action part.